This is the outlaw. Edmonton Police. How long are you going to detain my vehicle that you stole? Just curious, that's all. Anyway, they belong back in the collection. Now, how long does it take you? What sort of car you drive? What sort of car do you drive, eh? What's your personal car? I've got a few. Well, we all know now, this is me Mercedes. Alright? Don't come out here and try and steal that one. Alright, that one. That one I'm protecting with me life too. Any of me cars now. Don't touch me fucking Mercedes. Well, that's my baby. That's the boss's car. Guess who's boss? This car, this van, it was fine, but I needed a home. So I created a home slash fortress, ready for action. Look at these cane fields. They're just going forever, don't they? Oh, what's that out? Is that another fucking SUV? That fucking is. It's the Outlaws SUV. That there is a Grand Cherokee. Oh, how does he do all this, you wonder? When we kicked him out and we tormented him and closed businesses down, how does he do it? Um, I'm good at what I fucking do. I'm good with my customers and so forth, what not, until you get involved. And then oh, I stop for a while because, fuck, I've got another out new ideas. So I turned that place into a home slash fortress. You come out to this fucking property, make sure you got your guns drawn. That I can assure you. Right. Easy fucking exit, uh, entrance into the car from the homestead, which I've created. Right. Oh, I've got everything here. This is it's actually quite nice. Look, I even bought back in the, a welcome mat. But no one's welcome. That's just for me to feel a bit more homey because the cops uh, illegally evicted me. And, you know, we're going to come for you too, Justin, and your crew, and the owner of that fucking place that owns all these nursing homes. We're coming for you too. We're going to expose you too and your lies. And if, if it's true, Justin, then um, uh, the police will want to have a word with you too. But hang on, I reckon these are all together. But anyway, so anyway, I've painted her black. She's got the outlaw faded in. I've got me fire pit there, me barbecues and all that. Uh, tools and all these things. Uh, shower there, which I've got to put on the back of this. Uh, band on the inside so when you open it up from the back it'll be on that door there so you open it up and it automatically opens up the shower curtain when you open the both doors it, it, it's, it'll be a full bathroom it just opens up uh, just a shower curtain it's on a pulley system uh, I've made up all right so I get out of bed and I go there I've got my veranda well, it's not a veranda, it's the door set, but I even bought a little floor mat there for, for the front door. So, I was just trying to live, you fucking dumb cops. You see me in the video I posted, what was it, Life Before the Outlaw? Well, that I posted to me son. That's the car I just filmed in your fucking thing for all to see that you, you, you took off me. And that video there was to me son, that was a personal one. Knew that, I never knew that would come in handy. Uh, but it shows you my car on wheels, that was after I was disqualified by the courts. So I sold me green one. I don't need this fucking thing. So I sold the green one. And um, I bought a white one. Put my own decals on it, put neons on it. Put all the parts on it. I've got that fuckwit over the hill to do it, but he's a gronk. Anyway, so I did all that. And when the police came and told me to get out without their warrant of possession, and we all know the story now, 
I had to leave in that car and live in it. Proof of it was emergency and I've got no other choice. Well, I'm living in a fucking vehicle now that I was going to scrap. It was going to the scrap. It, it did go there, but it's got this fiberglass all through it. It was a freezer van, right? So I wouldn't take it. So I had to put it out here with me Mercedes. And, uh, well, I turned it into a home because these, I've got nowhere to live. I'm sick of fucking being on the streets. I've got a little patch here. Now, it's not, it's on the property where these cops came and harassed me, but this part ain't is, and, um, let's just say, um, you know, the owner's, um, well, he's let me stay here, isn't he? Now, the outlaw, well, I don't see uh, that he has a choice, uh, um, special interests and all that. But anyway, uh, this is my little patch, and this is how I created this home through unsaid negotiation, and um, I made it a home. It's a, it's a house. It's uh, it's got everything uh, that I need to live comfortably and more. But um, anyway, don't fucking come near me, Mercedes. Don't come near me. Don't come near the property. This is another warning. And I keep my word, the outlaw does. We've all seen that throughout the videos. Edmonton Police, you want to have guns drawn when you come here and be ready to fucking use them. Because it, it, it's just showing, you're just trying to fucking put me in the cage. And I don't know why. I don't fuck around and hurt people. This is proof I just want a fucking home to live in and uh, carry on with uh, what work I do. All right, my business is really, I'm over work. I won't work for any cunt no more because I earn more money than what I do. I earn more than the fucking police. So I can afford expensive lawyers. It's stopped now though, I'm in a bit of a hole. Um, so 70 grand I've got to pay. Yes, come on in. That's all right. I'm, yep. I'm just bringing you back that desk for your laptop. No, right, okay then. Thank I'm you. I'm just putting it there. Okay. Right. Thank you, Drive. Thank you, Jonas. Oh, we all know who you are. It's, doing. it's like the stig, isn't it, really? All right. Um, I'll end this here anyway. But, uh, yeah, I've created a home out of my fucking cars. That's proof I had to live in a fucking car. You just get fucking doing me in for it. You won't let it go. Well, I won't let it go now. Ethical Standards Command Unit. Why are you not investigating? Chidimpul C gave you the information and said investigate. You have to. Do them three things. It says on my email, which I'll bring up when my phone's fucking charged for all to see. And you can also see my criminal history. Because I've got nothing to hide. Let's bring it out in the open. So, my enemies have got nothing against me. Nothing. Because I'm going to say it all. Alright. This is the outlaw. I'm going to have some steak, a cup of coffee. And I think it is. According to my watch. It's a beautiful watch. Goes with my nice $3,000 gold ring, Edmund, to police. 420 on the dot. Well, out of here. Clocking off, outlaw out. 420, woo!